So hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to remove a BIOS password through a programming. Uh, so I have a password on, so I don't know what's the password. I'm using this programmer um, and using the clip. I don't need to remove the BIOS chip, I'm just going to use the socket. So I'm just going to show you. We're going to turn it off, remove the power. I already stripped the laptop so battery is off you need to remove the battery you need to remove the charger remove remove the ram uh, yeah and then this is the socket we need to put it on the bios this is the bios chip 450 g5 chip is there uh, this is the pin one we need to make sure we put it on the pin one on the bios chip as well so if you see in there, this white dot, this white dot in the beginning, that's the chip one. So we need to align with this one as a chip one. So I'm going to pause the video because that's very tricky. So then I'm going to get back. So I just connected the chip. You might have to give us a few try. And uh, once you connect it, select the voltage to the lowest to 2 volt, 2.5 whichever. And then in the software, click on the smart identify, click on that. If it identify the chip, my chip is obviously W25Q128BV, um, 16 megabit, that's the chip, so you recognize it itself. Unless you don't, if you don't get recognition, you have to check the chip or make sure you put it right the clip. Uh, so once you have the clip right, again make sure you put on the pin one to the pin one on the BIOS, and then to verify, use the smart identify. So I done it twice to just show you guys. Now all I just need to do read the BIOS. So all it is gonna, what it's gonna do is gonna read the BIOS, and then we're just gonna save that file and we're gonna unlock that file. Then, so just bear with me. So my I already stripped the laptop. So here's the binary file. Just gonna save it as 450G5 blocked, and uh, SS just to verification purpose. So yeah, I just put the name 450G5 block SS just to find it quickly. Uh, so I save the file. Save the file in HP backup. I'm gonna open that file. So if you see here, I save the file here for video. That's the file. I'm gonna hold this file and then bring back to this HP unlocker software. So I'm just gonna leave it on top of that. So what you're gonna do is gonna unlock the file and then gonna give me another image which is gonna be unlocked and we're gonna simply open that file in the software and uh, copy on the BIOS to write on the BIOS so I'm just gonna wait because that happened on the background you don't see so soon we have the new file unlocked one we're gonna use it sometimes it do take time take 30 seconds a minute give it time refresh go back to the folder come back and uh, so if you see it now we just refreshed it so we have 455 lock as the same unlocked version so that one was locked version now we have unlocked bin file um, all we need to do Show you guys. 
So first is erasing the bias chip and then it's gonna start writing it. So it's erasing the chip. I'm just gonna leave it on the software. It's writing now. Uh, it's quite qu quick programmer. Take only a few minutes. I would say a few seconds. But do the job very well. There's plenty programmer in the market may work as well but I just bought this for some other purpose so in doing a job for laptop as well um, once the image copy is also verified so we're just gonna wait for verification as well okay so the file is done um, start blinking so all we need to do is just remove the clip and uh, I'm just gonna put the RAM back plugging the charger as well to just get the power because I already removed the battery once you plug the charger, click on power button and leave it for a few seconds. You do gonna see some lights on the keyboard blinking, caps lock and then there is a Wi-Fi. That's normal because it's programming the chip. I mean the board. So once you have the picture, just press F10 to get into the. Sometimes we do restart a few times. So if it's happened, don't worry about it. Let it program the chip. So press F10. If this comes, just cancel it. Or if you see now we in we can see the spec uh, all the I'll just advise you guys when they're sorted you can plug Ethernet to update the BIOS through the link as well from here uh, Bobby this is already 2022 version we already have been updated so we don't need to do anything only simple advice to just reset to the factory apply factory default and exit this is just precaution uh, once we do that everything is back to normal now no password so I'm gonna show you guys again F10 I'm just gonna uh, leave a link for you to download the software to unlock the BIOS um, also there is plenty of program in the market but I'm using this one for now um, pretty good don't need to remove the chip from the system either um, I did use CH341 programmer uh, it might do the job as well but I did read the file with this but I wasn't able to write it back so I just didn't bother about doing more further research on it or maybe I was doing something wrong but this software programmer and this software work really well um, so yeah thank you very much subscribe if you like the video and leave the comments if you have any question leave the com in the comments thank you bye